Good day everyone, in this video we're going to talk about making instruments, particularly the different scales and indices. Before anything else, let's define scales and indices. Scales are a type of composite measure that is composed of several items that have a logical or empirical structure among them. Scales take advantage of differences in intensity among the indicators of a variable. Indices, on the other hand, provide a researcher a way to create a composite measure that summarizes responses for multiple rank-ordered related questions or statements. Also, a measurement that is constructed by summing up other simpler measurements. At this point, we're going to talk about the different types of scales and indices that we can use when designing instruments for a quantitative research. First, we have the binary scale. A binary scale would be nominal scales consisting of binary items that assume one of two possible values, such as yes or no, true or false, etc. From the word itself, binary scale, there would only be two possible options. Let's have this example. A five-item binary scale measuring social awareness. Of course, we have the indicators here. And based on these indicators, the respondent would simply answer yes or no, whichever is applicable to him or her. Next, we have the Likert scale. The Likert scale is usually a 5-point or 3-point scale that aims to measure degrees or levels of response towards given indicators. Take note that the Likert scale is usually used to measure qualitative data, particularly those under the ordinal level of measurement. For example, we have the customer satisfaction rating towards food quality. Remember that in the previous video, the satisfaction is something that is qualitative, hence we cannot actually measure it using numbers. As such, we have different terms to measure the satisfaction rating, such as very satisfied, satisfied, somewhat satisfied, unsatisfied, and the lowest would be very unsatisfied. Depending on the indicators, the respondents would then give their answers depending on their experience. Take note that since the satisfaction rating or satisfaction is something that is relative, it can vary depending on the individuals, depending on the actual experience that they have. Next, we have the Gutman Scale. The Gutman Scale uses a series of items arranged in increasing order of intensity of the construct of interest from least intense to most intense. For example, we have a 5-item Gutman Scale measuring attitude towards immigrants. It would usually start with a question such as, rate your opinions about the following statements towards the police and justice system. Remember that a Gutman scale may be binary or Likert depending on the preference of the researcher. For this example, this is a binary scale that would determine the attitude or opinions of the respondents towards the given indicators. Remember that in a binary scale or a Gutman scale, the items are arranged in increasing order of intensity. As such, each item in the above Gutman scale has a weight which varies with the intensity of that item and the weighted combination of each response is used as an aggregate measure of an observation. With this in mind, we could assign values for each of the indicators. The first one could be a 2, second could be a 4, and so on and so forth. And lastly, we have the semantic differential scale. A semantic differential scale is a composite scale where respondents are asked to indicate their opinions or feelings toward a single statement using different pairs of adjectives framed as polar opposites. For example, we have the rating on the performance of service crews. A semantic differential scale would usually start with a single question, such as, how would you rate the performance of our service crew? Based on the experience of the respondents, they will then give their answers. It could be towards the positive side or the negative side.
Remember that since the semantic differential scale is similar to the Likert scale in that it measures opinions or feelings or attitudes towards a particular statement, it could vary depending on the experience of the respondents. Semantic differential is believed to be an excellent technique for measuring people's attitude or feelings towards objects, events, or behaviors. In a nutshell, scales and indices are vital in quantitative research as these would be used in making research instruments. Knowing about the types of scales and indices and how they are used and interpreted would help researchers be able to accurately analyze quantitative data.